Thank you for joining me for my first Kingdom Rush Let's Play series. I'm your host, Opie. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, the campaign. So we're going to start a new game. And let's see, here we go. We'll start out on casual for the casual fan beginner strategy games. Here we go, let's see what we got. We'll start here. So we'll start off with the campaign. Here for this first episode, we'll go ahead and do campaign, heroic, and iron. I will go ahead and confess to you guys, I have played this briefly on my iPad. I played a little bit, so I'm familiar with it. And if you're not, then hopefully we can learn. you, you can learn as I, uh, we go through the game. So the, pretty much the strategy, this is a, a Defender Castle type game or where, or a... Uh, I, actually, I can't think of what, what what the correct terminology is for this, but it's a uh, uh, you're just gonna build towers. Let's just go ahead and start here. We'll build a tower here, and then you can place these guys where you want to, like like so. So we'll go ahead and call this first wave. There's seven waves. We might as well just go ahead and build some more stuff here. And the first thing we got coming is some goblins. We just got a few of those coming. So we can call the early, w the next wave to get a little bit of bonus money. For honor and glory! For honor and glory! So this is wave number two. We're just rocking and rolling along here. And so the object is to kill all these guys before they get to the end of the map. And that's over here by the flags. Once they get off the screen, then you lose. Well, I mean, you don't lose. We have 20 hearts. You can't let lose more than 20 hearts. So we can call reinforcements now with uh, the swords here at the bottom. And there they are. They're fighting down there for us. Reinforce! Let's call another wave early. So wave number four. Uh-oh, we got a new enemy. We have an orc coming. Tough savages with light armor. So here they come, or here he comes. Let's go and let him fight those guys. Tip. So, what they're saying is you want to fight the orcs with some archer towers or marksmen or stuff like that. So, here we go. Wave lucky number five. Let's go and call that next wave as well. Reinforce! Reinforce! And we got another tip. And this is just saying we can move our guys, which we've already went over that. You guys know. Rawr! Let's go ahead and move these guys back a little bit so that we can let our archers hit with more damage. Do battle! Oh, now we get Rain of Fire. It's right down here, new power. So we got Rain of Fire and we can call reinforcements. Freedom! And it looks like we're gonna need Rain of Fire here in just a moment. And bye-bye. Bye-bye, bad guys. Victory is ours. So we won the campaign part of the first level or I guess you can say the campaign part of Southport so what we'll go ahead and do so is that in this intro is we'll go ahead and go through all of these we'll go through the campaign which we just did let's go ahead and do the heroic and let's go to battle and see if we can't do this one so this means no heroes which we didn't have heroes in the first level anyway so it works out good so there's on all these I believe there's six waves and we start out having 
our reinforcements and we also have our rate of fire and we were going to use this thing early on to knock out some of these guys take those guys out to dinner and we have no upgrades for this first campaign level or for this first level Southport we have no Oh, we need to call the wave early. Get some extra moolah. So this first uh, Southport, this first le <clears throat> level is pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Not too much to it. Not too many different villains, I guess, or orcs and goblins and things like that. So we can take them out fairly easy. Oh, and we got some more rain of fire here. And we are fixing to use it to destroy these guys. Boom. And we don't have any, we can't upgrade these guys yet, which is unfortunate. So wave number four is coming now. So far, so good. Just keep rocking and rolling along. Reinforce. Get our reinforcements out there. Let them do some work. Let's go and call wave number five as well. We seem to be doing pretty good so far. We'll just go ahead and take those guys out since we can. Freedom. And wait, why not? Let's call wave six as well. Get them out there. We'll go ahead and build a few more little towers and things here we got a magic one and we got our barracks our magic tower our mage tower is what it is so there we go looks like we just beat the heroic level so we only get one star for heroic which is okay that's cool we will add it to our collection and finally we'll go ahead and go back to Southport and we'll go ahead and do iron so I like this one this is probably my uh, that's probably my favorite game type they have you get you're not allowed to use a couple of them like this one you can't use the magic towers or the archer towers so we have to use these uh, the, the other ones and you can upgrade them and things like that and there's just one long wave which is kind of cool I think so I really do enjoy this one so we're gonna get one long wave of all these guys and what's cool about the her or I, I what's more difficult about the heroic and the iron is that if one guy makes it to the end then you lose in the in the campaign you can let I think up to 20 but in this, on these, you can only let one, one guy passes, then you, that's it. Bye-bye. So, so far, so good. We had not even you had to use our rain of fire, our, our explosions yet. But we may have to use it here shortly. I may have spoke just a little bit too soon. That will take those out, and we'll have to get our reinforcements to take that guy out. And that works, no problem. So here comes the next big wave, it looks like.
So far, so good. And we seem to be keeping everyone in line. Yes to the king, baby. And wow, now you can really see the guys coming. That's a bunch of them. Uh-oh, we let one... Oh, there we go. We took him out. I think we're going to be okay. It looks like we're going to get past this when it was tight there for... Oh, yeah. We did. It was tight there for a second. And I couldn't get my rain of fire down. It was tight there for a second, but we were able to get the win. So that gives us five stars. So what you can do with the stars, you can come down here and do your upgrades. So we got uh, Marksman Towers return 90% value of gold when sold. We can get barracks to train soldiers, sh soldiers more health, more range for our wizard attacks, more artillery damage, and two additional meters to increase meter damage. And finally, wealth, our farmers that, for our re, uh, that we call will have more health and be able to deal more damage. Let's go ahead and do this one. This one. And we got one left. Let's go ahead and do the range. Like that. So we'll do that. That uses all five of our upgrades. And I think we're going to call that a video right there. Next time, we'll come back and we'll be doing the outskirts so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see the next video and otherwise I will talk to you all next time